Hi, it's Bucko from VideoGamePerfection.com and today we're going to be looking at Good Scott Switch and Bad Scott Switch. Now, I see a lot of these Scott Switches for sale on eBay and people often ask me why I don't like them. Well, on this video I'm going to try and show you. So, let's pan back now to the TV. And as you saw down there, I only had one thing plugged in. I want to show you what happens to this picture when I plug in another SCART lead, this time from the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo. Um, as you can see, already we've got a significant reduction in picture brightness just from plugging in down here plugging in another SCART uh, lead into the block. Now, that button isn't pressed in, we've still only got that one selected, but we still get the degradation in the picture. And I'm going to pan back now to the TV and just show you that again. So, remove, the picture's brighter, add in, the picture's darker, um, and it gets worse. Let me switch on the Super Famicom, and now you can see the two pictures are interfering with each other. Now, just to prove that I've not done anything to the switch, the Super Famicom button there is not pressed in. That's it pressed in, that's it released. So you might say, well, why do I care about that? Because I'm not plugging in two things at once, or if I am, I'm not powering them both on at the same time. Well, the problem is that the two SCART cables are interfering with each other and in actual fact voltage from the Genesis will then leak through into the Super Nintendo Super Famicom. So you're actually sending voltage down an RGB cable and I've even seen the Super Nintendo switch itself on when it's unplugged from the wall. So not a um, good idea to use those SCART blocks. Um, I'll just switch back to my other SCART switcher. Let's take a moment. Okay, so I've um, switched back to the regular SCART switch and I've just lifted it up so you can see clearly how to toggle the inputs. So I'm going to go back to the TV. Oh, notice that both the Genesis and the Super Famicom are powered on. And there's the Super Famicom. No problems with the picture there. Flip the switch straight over to the Genesis back on Sonic. And again, no picture distortion. So that's how you tell the difference between a good SCART switch and a bad SCART switch. Two little tests you can do. And that's how I test all my SCART switches. Okay, and that's the end of this quick little video and hopefully you'll check out the rest of my site.